Hello guys, welcome back to another Windows 8.1, aka Windows Blue update for this series. Uh, this is an extension for the parts that I'm doing. Now, as you guys can see already, there's something way different, something way cooler happening on the lock screen, and this is called the lock screen slideshow. And what it does, it gets a folder of your pictures that you have, or a miscellaneous amount of folders, and it allows you to set your wallpapers as a slideshow in the lock screen. So. What you're seeing right here, I have a custom folder that I have set for the slideshow. And it has like a zoom effect, it has like a transitional effect, and also has a slide to right effect. And then it goes into a zoom and, th and then back out to this right here. So this is really cool. This is something that Microsoft is doing with the next build of the Windows 8.1. It's called a lock screen slideshow. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the settings right here. And going over here, going to settings, going to change PC settings. You have this option under here where it says lock screen. And when you have this option, you can go ahead and press it on and you have an option to go ahead and look for the SkyDrive or local folders and you can add a folder. I actually added a custom folder called collection six edited. And then when I selected it, that's when it goes and allows itself to be transitioned into the lock screen slideshow. Keep this in mind, this option right here, the on and off option is only available if your Windows right here, the 9364 is activated. So if you don't have this activated, it's going to have a grayed out. So that's probably the only option or the only confusion thing that you're probably saying, well, how come I can't use it? Because you're not activated. Another option it has is that it'll turn off the screen after the picture frame has been shown for one hour, three hours, never, or 30 minutes. So it's not necessarily going to, you know, tie up your battery, especially if you don't have it docked in an AC. But yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a cool feature. I do believe that I will be using this on my desktop and I'll continue using it as long as there's new features being involved. If you guys like this feature, when it comes out, take advantage of it. And if you guys want to go ahead and stick around on how to go ahead and activate this and how to you know, unlock this feature, let's go ahead and stay tuned and we'll go ahead and transition over how to do it. It's very complicated, so I'd advise you guys to pay attention and pause the video at any time. So with the option on, all you have to do is just go to your desktop and then go to the start screen actually. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this key right here. You wanna go ahead and copy this or you just wanna go ahead and follow it. And then you wanna click on the Windows key on your keyboard and type in reg edit and then press return, that'll show up. And next thing you're gonna go on to the H key current user. And then next you'll go to the software, which is right here and you click that below, and then you go to Microsoft and click that as well. And I do believe it's down over here next to Windows. You drop that down, down to current version right here and drop that down as well. And then from current version, when you do have that activated and you do that have and you do have that set on, you'll see an option called lock screen. If you don't know anything about uh, the lock screen, if it's not there, you might wanna go ahead and create it. Now, there's gonna be three things that you wanna create via uh, the D word. It's gonna be a key. These are the things that you're going to be creating, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and create it by uh, deleting this one right here. I'll delete that. All you have to do, just say, for example, um, we're going to do this one. Uh, you're going to go ahead and copy this, and where you can copy it is pretty easy because I'm going to show you right now. So go ahead and copy that, right-click copy, and uh, where you're going to be copying it is this site right here. I'll go ahead and link it to you guys. It's a written tutorial. It's a blog on how to do this, but if you guys want to go ahead and stay tuned, and watch this visually, I'm sure it'll help a lot more. Um, but like I said, all you have to do is just uh, copy these right here. Just go ahead and right click, copy, and then you wanna go ahead and right click anywhere right here and then press new and you wanna go to the D word 32 bit value. You wanna go ahead and click that right there and then press that. Uh, it'll have a new value. All you have to do is just press uh, inside, right click and then press paste and that'll show up. Now, my suggestion on the value would be 250. So all you have to do is each one that I have set, um, just right click on it, go to modify, and then under decimal, you want to go ahead and click on 250 or type in 250 and then press OK. Always have it to uh, where it's decimal. This goes the same thing with the other ones. The slideshow show debug, what that does right there, it just has like a little, you know, CMD command prompt instead of having it just like clear. So you might not want to have to worry about that. All you have to do is worry about the slideshow start delay and the slideshow transition timer interval. And uh, the slideshow delay I have set at 500. And all you have to do is just right click, modify, click to decimal and press 500. 
500 and then press OK. And same thing goes with the slideshow transition timer interval. You want to go ahead and right click that and go to modify go to decimal and then type in 5,000 and then press okay. Those are the perfect settings in regards to transitioning in a comfortable way. It doesn't transition too fast. Each photo has a subtle way of transitioning. It's not like snappy, it's not too slow, it's just right. And so when you're done doing it, all you have to do is just go to your start screen, go ahead and lock your computer by pressing here and see if it works. And also just make sure that you selected the folder as well. And if you've got it to work, you'll have your pictures transitioning and it'll look like this. I have this custom folder like I had mentioned before. So that's exactly what I have transitioning. You, you can have a personal folder in regards to, you know, family photos. I mean, family photos, I mean, that's perfect right there. Or you can have a picture of your dog, you know, uh, a vacation, anything that you want. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, just about anything. If it's something more intimate, something more personal, I'd advise it because it looks way cooler. So that's it for this series. If you guys want to stay tuned for the next series, I do believe I have at least two more. Go ahead and stay subscribed. If you guys want to go ahead and look at the previous other features, which are brand new, go ahead and look at those videos. I have them in a playlist for the Windows 8.1, aka Windows Blue. And until next time, see you later, guys. All right, take care. Bye.